everybody. Video here for you again today. Another place called Emerald Mound. But before I start, I just want to mention a couple things. I am going to be making another long video where I go over stuff sent into me and questions and stuff like that. And I'll leave a link below for that video I made, I don't know, last weekend. Long video, about 45 minutes long. And I've had some questions on channels that I watch. And that's kind of a tough one to answer. Most of my YouTube time is spent making videos. And there are so many history channels these days, literally hundreds of them. And I will ask you a question. What channels do you watch? Because some of these channels I'm totally unaware of because I spend so little time these days watching videos. So if you have a channel that you watch that's related to ancient history, please leave it below. And of course, I know about Ben's channel and Ancient Architects and the Lost History channel and Charles Koss, some channels that I've been watching for a while now. But if you have a favorite channel that you watch, please leave it below because I'm seriously, I'm totally unaware of some of these. Now, I also had a question, and it must have been when I appeared on screen uh, in my bedroom when I made a video a while back. I had a question, is that a duck in the background? Now, this is something I want to share. My grandpa was into wood carving and painting. He did some awesome duck work here. You can see that there. There is a Canadian goose that he carved. My grandpa passed away when I was 20, but taught me how to fish, stuff like that. I miss him a lot, but just wanted to share one of my grandpa's duck carvings since somebody asked. Canadian goose and a wood duck he did here. He did these in the early 1980s. But now for my second Emerald Mound video of the day. Won't be as long as my first one for obvious reasons down here. This place seemed to be connected to Cahokia, just east of it here, right down here. My earlier video on Emerald Mound, pretty impressive site. This place in Illinois, pretty much totally lost, forgotten. Not much remains here at all. About the only thing remaining on this site, I guess, is under the trees. This is up on just a very slight rise here, but let's take a look at what used to exist here a long time ago. There's what existed, a platform mound here, two-tiered with some structures on top, and then many dwellings around the area here. There is not much written on this place, but it says there was five mounds here originally. Maybe that's what is depicted up here. Maybe that's what we can see, maybe right in this area, right here. It says two of the mounds remain today, but I'd just say just barely. Here's Google Maps. Look at the area here. This is near Lebanon, Illinois. But it does show a slight rise, probably right under those trees right there. Here's one website I will leave below. This might be a look at what was under those trees at one time. It says Emerald Mound preserves the remains of a Native American earthwork. Is there preservation going on here? It says once part of a complex that included about 140 acres of small mounds, and it was a satellite village to the metropolis of Cahokia. Raised and occupied during the Middle Mississippian period between 700 and 1400, the truncated pyramid-shaped mound supported civic and ceremonial structures surrounded by small hamlets or farmsteads. The mound here is about 300 feet at the base, rising to a height of about 20 feet, and is covered with trees and other growth. The site was added in 1971 to the National Register of Historic Places. Here's a look from Street View. This place once had a huge truncated pyramid, four other mounds, many dwellings around the area here, farms today. This is what it looks like. Now I did find this shot, this overhead view here coming from decades ago, what remained of the main mound here. But this place was so impressive that in 1842, Charles Dickens visited here. Here's another website, Greater Cahokia Archaeology, 21st Century Inquiries into Ancient America. And in the upcoming decade, we're going to answer a lot of questions about ancient America. This is the Emerald Acropolis Project. I will leave this website if you want to read it. It's pretty fascinating here. Here's some LIDAR at the site. You can certainly make out a few more features of this ancient city here. Some mounds at this end. But they think this is based on a lunar alignment here. This was a really good article. Here it talks about the Emerald site's primary 53 degree axis with the Lunar maximum moonrise, which takes place during one out of every 18.6 years. Halfway through the cycle, the moon rises and sets. 
within a much narrower envelope on the horizon known as the lunar minimum, both maximum and minimum moonrise and moonset observation are known to predate Cahokia and Emerald in Hopewell and Chaco culture contacts in Ohio and New Mexico. However, their convergence with an impact on the world of the Cahokians we propose was a primary reason for the region's unique urbanization. That was an interesting nugget about Chaco Canyon and the Mound Groups in Ohio. I know Randall has talked about the alignments at Chaco Canyon in one of his videos. But here you can tell by the way the lines are facing, here is the Newark Earth Group in Ohio, just kind of facing that same alignment there. But ancient cultures watch the sun in ancient America, that is for sure. Just like all cultures around the world, they watch the heavens. And the moon was just as important or even more important than the sun because it's shown in the day and the nighttime. These lunar alignments are kind of shown on here, and I will leave the website below if you want to read it in more detail. It seems that some of these alignments are even connected to nearby mound sites. This is certainly an interesting one to do, some lost history here, but LIDAR gives us a few glimpses here of what once was. A city with about four or five mounds, many dwellings around it. But one of the more amazing things about this place is it was figuratively and literally connected to Cahokia. They found a 24 kilometer roadway that was 50 meters wide that ran from here all the way to Cahokia. Just like Mayan sites, we are learning that some ancient America sites are connected by long roadways. This would have been about 15 miles between Emerald Mounds and Cahokia. But here, I will leave a link for this also below. This actually shows the moon phases for the Emerald Mound site here in Illinois. That is some truly lost history coming from Illinois, just east of Cahokia. Part of the big picture in ancient America, lost, forgotten though. That's why I'm doing this. Hope you thought that was cool and you all have a very safe day.